Historically, the human race has almost always responded to violence with even more violence. Once in a while, someone comes along and shows us a better way. Beauty Cause is really about making shifts in your own personal development to create a better world. Uh, basically, we follow a philosophy uh, from Mahatma Gandhi. He had a quote that said, Be the change you wish to see in the world. So when you look at the world and you're troubled by how it's operating and certain issues that plague this planet, if you truly want to make a difference, what you must do is you must first be that change yourself and model that change to the people around you. And that's really the philosophy that this uh, organization embodies, is that first and foremost, our goal is to be the change, is to try to become better human beings, try to be more compassionate, try to be more kind, more caring for, for the people that surround us, and then have that ripple into the rest of the world. Perhaps it is once again time to find a way and end the cycle of hate and violence that grips the planet today. Built on this simple but effective philosophy is the concept of the compassion cell. Basically, it's a community service project. But we call it a compassion cell because it's the antithesis to the terror cell that exists in the planet. So instead of operating out of terror or out of fear, what we try to do is operate from a space of compassion. A simple way to bring about change at a social, spiritual, and more importantly, a deeply personal level. Free Compassion Cell in the beginning was um, a group of people coming together and talking about um, what was going on in the world and, and how people could help. And it, um, when it got formalized into you know, the Compassion Cell more the way it is today, um, it was to be a gathering once a month of, of people coming together to do something locally. Um, just kind of out of the, the spirit of wanting to contribute, wanting to make a difference, that the people involved, uh, some of them have been just really um, found that it's made an enormous difference in their life and in their attitude. The people who've gotten involved in being a cause begin to really develop significant relationships with each other. It comes out of like-mindedness, it comes out of shared experience. Um, it comes out of the, <laughs> these things turn out to be pretty fun most of the time. I think that most people feel that any positive contribution that we can make to our community is going to be useful as a whole for making the world a better place. I am a, more of a hands-on person and I like getting dirty and, and actually going out there and do physical work, whatever it is. So for me, uh, writing a check isn't really an option, it never has been an option. I have always volunteered in the past, so this to me is just uh, second nature. I'm Michelle Adenalfi, I've been with the cause since the summer. Well, they like the goal of the organization really is to promote well-being uh, within the community and globally. I like when I paint, like, you know, mostly, like, you know, you don't have to listen to anybody. It's just, you can do whatever you want. I feel free what to do with any colors that I want, and I just made them. I just got like sick of doing the same old thing over and over again and I was looking for something different. And you know, there's like so many things you can do with your time. Uh, this seems to be one of the few things that like you know actually seem to have a positive consequence. There's a lot of suffering on this planet. There's a lot of famine, a lot of poverty, a lot of disease, a lot of war. There's 1.1 billion people on this planet that lack access to safe drinking water. Half the world's population makes less than $2 a day. And all these conditions are about because individuals, like you and me, have made choices that allow this to continue.
Be the Cause has raised funds which have brought much needed relief to war victims in Afghanistan and Iraq, earthquake victims in Iran, orphanages and schools in India and Africa, and 9-11 victims in the U.S. The funds are raised through individual and corporate sponsors and activities such as the annual Walk for Hope. One of our largest projects, our catalyst project, is the Walk for Hope. The Walk for Hope we do on the anniversary of 9-11 each year. What we do is at Huntington State Beach, we block off five kilometers on the bike path. And this isn't really just a five kilometer walk. What we actually do is we create a journey for people to go on. So you come in and you start walking on this five kilometer walk and at the end of each kilometer there's a different activity. For example, there might be a meditation break or there may be a workshop on nonviolent communication. So the entire walk is designed to raise funds for humanitarian organizations around the world, but the core aspect of it is we create a journey for people to be inspired so they can get more involved in community service in their communities so that way they can actually embody a cause of their choosing. You know, our objectives are twofold. One, one of our objectives is to grow a lo local community that is inspired to serve. In this local community, we do a lot of projects. So we go into Mexico, we build a house for a needy family, we go to Mexico and play with some orphans. We do Feed the Homeless projects right here in Lawrence County. We do beach cleanups. We're always doing stuff that contributes to uh, some service in the local community. The other aspect of the organization is to raise funds for humanitarian aid projects around the world. We've created a global relief fund and we organize fundraisers and the funds that get collected get distributed to these humanitarian aid efforts. And the money that gets collected from this year's walk will be used uh, for organizations like the Afghanistan Relief Organization, 9-11 uh, Children's Fund, as, uh, as well as Hokiza, which is Homes for Kids in South Africa. So basically we select areas on the planet that, uh, that have a dire need and we select organizations that have a volunteer-centric model so that way the funds that we're actually distributing to these organizations don't get used for exuberant salaries we're really going to programs that are direly needed on the planet. Like I said, there are three choices. One, you can choose to actually contribute to the suffering that exists. Two, you can choose to do nothing. Or three, you can choose to be the cause for change. And that's exactly what we're asking you to do today. Just that, be the cause for change.